with two proud masts, one aft, one fore, and Hi, we're Timo and Joe from Sailing NV. Something we love about the cruising lifestyle is the people we meet and the stories they tell you. Which is why we've made this series called The Cruiser's Corner, so we can bring these stories to you. This is the second video in a six-part series about German Captain Misha and his hundred-year-old wooden yawl Pantagruel, and Misha's mammoth task of restoring the boat after she sank in tropical cyclone Yasa in Fiji in December 2020. In this video, Misha tells us all about the repair work he did to the hull and the deck and any other above deck modifications. So the mechanical damage to the boat was more or less on the deck in this area. Um, so because we were ended up under a uh, rock. In the last video, Misha explained how the aft deck got stuck under a rock during the cyclone and when the tide came up, the rock crushed the deck. Stuck on a rock. Rock has um, totally destroyed the, the cockpit. problem to do here in Fiji was to find uh, people with skills for wooden boat building and the company who helped me to salvage a boat, CMEC, this guy told me there is one family you have to, you have to contact in Fiji, they are the only one who are able to do uh, wooden boat building works and they are the Whippy Brothers. They were not allowed to work in Wunder Marina because there were no contractors here and uh, for them we set up a, um, a company uh, with all the insurance requirements and stuff and we made the contract with the Wunda Marina. I uh, rented a house for them nearby at the end for four months almost and um, we agreed about um, the working stuff. We uh, started to order the wood which, which has to be shipped from um, Vanua Levu and uh, took another three weeks but we make it hap made it happen and then uh, they start working first with six people huh? wow. and this was a great time of course it was very expensive because every time on Friday end of the week there was a lot of loan to pay and they also demanded to get uh, material every day I had a car and was fully occupied just to organize everything mm. and um, uh, but when I realized how good they are and how efficient a bit rough so they are not like for the real fine details but they were good skilled wo uh, wooden uh, boat builders and um, so I quickly decided to make the project a bit bigger than only the repair of the um, cyclone damage so what we did is uh, we removed like on maybe 80% of the boat the upper two planks and the old tow rail and uh, part of the deck mm. we put in uh, some enforcements of the frames mm. so the last half of more or less we got new frames everywhere so we made it really so strong and it was not completely necessary but uh, I had a good feeling with this huh? mm. and um, we also the boat is covered with uh, fiberglass and epoxy since uh, 15 years or something but it was only until the deck and now we did the cover a bit higher that up to the tow reel and the tow reel is now uh, because it's also so strong it's like a um, 
big part of the structural strength of the boat. Mm -hmm. And it goes all the 60 meters on the deck, forward to aft, and it makes it really so strong. Hmm? Okay. I remember uh, when we uh, worked on the travel lift, it didn't work out too easily because the travel lift was not big enough. And they asked me, can we put the straps on the stern or can we put it there? Hmm? I said, no problem. I really trust the boat, it's so strong. And we lifted uh, the boat then f with one strap from the yacht head heck. And they are used normally to this fiberglass boat where you always have to be careful that you put the straps where the bucket is and stuff mm. because it's not strong enough. This boat is still really strong. So did you want to explain anything about the hull, the work you did? Yeah, so what we did is uh, all the well, tow rail uh, is new and it's much stronger now. And the great thing is what That's we nice. did is that we put the tensions in the tow rail now and not in the deck. Mm. So we should change the position of the stanchions from the deck to the tow rail as he hopes this means there'll be less water coming through the deck and makes the boat look more elegant. So what uh, wood did you use? This is made with so-called rosava. That's a wood which is uh, growing here in Fiji in Vanuatu. It has similar properties to teak. So you can see it. We also use it as a teak deck replacement. It's very easy to nice. see what is replaced. And now they are kind of freshly oiled. When they get uh, dry and older, they both get grey. Mm. So the teak will be like a light grey and the rosava will be a little bit darker grey. Okay. Uh, the coach house uh, was a uh, mahogany uh, varnish before, and uh, but it was so much damaged and looked so bad that uh, we have to paint it white. Oh. Luckily the upper board here is uh, teak and also the lower one, when we can say, okay, we don't have to varnish it, we oil it. it some people say it's uh, not nice and some people say it looks quite all right. Yeah. My father is disappointed because he says you never can make it back no. to put um, uh, mahogany like varnish on it again. But there's still enough, enough things which are varnished and after years and years with the boat you know how much work it is to varnish it. So I'm happy that the foot reel here and that is not longer mahogany, that is rosava, which does not have to be varnished. You save a lot of time every year to do this, huh? There's a um, metal track here for the, um, the Genoa track. And now I, I intend to have maybe three points every side where you can just put a fair lead for the Genoa. It's just a test, we see how it will work. That is just to have not so many things on the on the deck. And that is good that the new um, tow rail is so strong, you just can put a lot of load on it. Um, as, as my idea is for the new Genoa track support, uh, mm -hmm. um, replacement. Mm -hmm. We take the they, they fit through the holes and then you can put the um, low friction ring in it, mm -hmm. which I ordered and still not got. So. Misha also made a new hatch. It's a hatch that you can open in both directions. So it depends when the wind, where the wind is coming from or where the wind you want to have wind in it. It matches the style of the other hatches on board and can be opened in both directions so you can choose depending on which way the wind's coming from. Because I also sent, uh, uh, changed all the setup with the Dodger and the solar panels. I have a, like a big uh, roof now above the, um, uh, above the cockpit, which I kind of like. I try to make it not so dominant than on my, uh, a lot of other boats. So when you make a picture from the side, you only see like more or less one line. Mm. For sailing in the Southern Ocean, I will make a temporary um, 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 extra strong um, fixings on this. Uh, how, how would you call it? You know what I mean. Huh? Um, we want to secure it. Yeah. This box in front of the mast used to house the life raft and is now home to three gas bottles, which Misha hopes will last him the whole way home. I will put this more one additionally on this mast, I was thinking. Mm -hmm. And this big one here 
uh, was a um, donation from another boat. What's that one for? Uh, that is for getting in the droke. Wow. So I got um, a big, big droke, which is like, I don't know, was longer than the pier, <laughs> maybe 150 meters long. Um, twice the size of the pier. And to get this in, that will be hard work. But when I go in more rougher um, conditions. And that's because you're planning to go back via Cape Horn? Yeah, I don't want to say this, <laughs> uh, decide this now, but it's an option. And um, so then you have to be prepared because it's a serious, um, serious thing to do. Mm -hmm. and I grew up. Yeah. So what I is a really nice thing is a new gangway. I think that it works quite well. It was not just made out of scrap wood, but it was left over. Huh? You want to demonstrate it for me? <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. But Flotsam, she's not ready to be. Catch the wind, ride the swell. Raised from the depths, restored was she. Pantan if you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe, like, and it would be great to hear from you in the comments. Thanks for watching. Catch the wind, ride the swell. Chart a course again. In the next video, Misha shows us the repairs and changes he made below deck. Yeah, clean the mask, come on. <laughs>